hey, I'm going to show you uh, how we're going to make a ghosted image. So this is a picture that I took of myself and we're going to turn it into this ghosted thing. So I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. First off, you're going to need a photo of yourself. So I'm going to start with mine and I'm going to duplicate my background. And then on this background copy, I'm going to make this into a blur. So I'm going to rename that and call this my blurred copy of that. To do a blur, I'm going to go up to my filter and I'm going to choose my blur and I want a motion blur. So you want your motion blur to be quite large. You want your angle to stay zero so you can see that like no blur and you want quite a lot of blur on it. So depending on the resolution of your image, you can see how much um, just by dragging that slider for it. So I'm going to go somewhere around there to get lots of blur to it and say OK to it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just bring back the eyes and the nose and the um, mouth a little bit. So add a layer mask to that blur layer. Remember, if your mask is white, you are going to paint with a black brush and you want to make sure that your brush is really, really soft. The other thing we're going to change on the brush is we're going to paint with a lower opacity. So we don't want to paint with a full black brush. So make sure that you paint with this lower opacity down here at about 10%, okay, is what you want that to be. And then just paint over top of your eyes and just bring your eyes back a little bit so that you can just kind of see them there and just bring your nose back a little bit. So just drag a little bit over the definition of your nose so that you can just bring that back. And you'll notice that you have to go, you know, a few times over it to be able to actually see your nose go in and then do the same thing on your mouth. I want to bring back my mouth and my lips and my teeth a little bit on it so that we can just see a little bit of, of that uh, that is come back. And once you've got that done, now I want to change this thing to a black and white. So I'm going to add an adjustment for a black and white. And now you can see what it's done. It's changed to black and white. At this point, I want to merge all of those layers together. So the shortcut I'm going to give you is so that it makes a merged layer with all of those layers mashed together, but puts that merge layer on top. So sitting on your top layer, hold your control, your shift, your alt, and hit the E while you're holding those keys. So control, shift, alt, E, and that makes a merged layer. And now on this layer, we are going to add a glow to that layer. So up into the filter menu, go into your filter gallery, and it's going to bring it up. Um, mine came up here on my other page, so it brings it up here. I'm just going to zoom out of it a little bit so that you can see it. Okay. The filter that you want is under this distort menu, and you want to choose diffuse glow. Now you'll see here the graininess just gives it kind of that noisy kind of a texture to it. I'm going to turn glow down and the clear down so you can see what happens with these ones. So turn your glow up a little bit as much as you need to and make sure that your clear is up a bit as well. And then just play around with those sliders until you get the amount of glow that you want on it and you get the clear amount and some graininess. So I think I'm going to go with about 4, 12 and 10 on mine, but yours will be different uh, depending on the resolution of your photo when you took it. So I'm going to say OK to that. Now we're almost done on that glow. Now we want to add some color to it. So I'm going to add a color layer. So go to this little button here that is kind of that circle that's half white and, and half black. And in there, what we're going to do is we're going to add a solid color to it. Now I want mine to be green. I'm going to give it kind of a greenish tinge to it. So you can pick any kind of a, kind of a green color that's there. And I know it just covered everything up. But what we're going to do with that green now is we're going to just change the opacity of that layer. So go here to this opacity slider and just change that down so that it is just slightly greenish on that whole thing. And that's it. We're done.